growing up, the memories of cricket were all around me. Out the back of cricket grounds, in the garden, just playing and copying my heroes, really. Loved watching Dad do well for England. Had success against Australia and played with such passion. A lot of people's dads are their heroes, aren't they? I remember a school teacher once said to me at a young age, oh, it's the taking part that counts, but I've been lucky. I've been able to fulfill some dreams. When I was a kid, I'd stay up till 12, one o'clock to watch the first ball of the Ashes series in Australia. Uh, show passion in the shirt they're wearing. I never sort of excelled throughout my teenage years. I've always had a huge desire to to win. That drives me forward to make myself a better player. When I get that ball in my hands, the team are desperate for wickets. That responsibility is something that I think I thrive on. In 2009, I bowled a spell at the Oval. It made me feel I could do it under the highest of pressures. Regaining the Ashes at Trent Bridge is a dream come true for me with the 8 for 15. When I've been running in, I felt like the, the outfield was moving, like the ground was shaking. A huge buzz in your body. That feeling is why I train every day. The whole of Trent Bridge Stadium was our changing route. A dream come true to have played 100 test matches for England, but also makes me very hungry to get more success. There's no point standing still.